So the whole name of like <laughs> Leisure King, I guess, is sort of the hardest thing for me to explain to people when they say like, you know, what is that? Like, what is that that you're wearing on your shirt or whatever? It's pretty like muddy what it's actually all about, right? There's a lot of skateboarding, snowboarding, and then we're also running volleyball tournaments and doing, you know, parties and stuff like this. My dad and all, like, all of his buddies have always kind of, they used to call him that, LK, the Leisure King, whatever, right? And he sort of took it to mean it's not about being, you know, leisure, it's not about being lazy, it's not about sitting around on the couch. It's about freedom, really, I would say. One of the biggest events we did was called Battle in the Barn. One of our family friends has a huge barn just up in Calanese and had a huge half pipe in there. So we went up there and took two weeks and redid the whole place. And then we had recruited a bunch of professional and amateur riders and then had them all come and compete for I think it was like a thousand dollar cash prize. That was my favorite thing that we've done. And also, you know, I was there taking photos, taking videos. So that's the things that I love as well. We also did a couple of uh, northern tours, we called them. So me and my buddies would strap up in a pickup truck, bring all our stuff, clothes and skate gear and whatever, and just head to all up in Muskoka, any skate park that we could find all throughout Muskoka. Honestly, yeah, the things that I really got out of this aren't, isn't the money, it's not, you know, the business experience, it's just the memories. I thank my dad so much because he's like my biggest inspiration in pretty much everything I do. I got really lucky that my family is the most supportive I could possibly have, and my friends were also really supportive, also really creative, were able to think outside of the box along with me. You know, if you have people in your life that are ever telling you, no, you shouldn't do that, or you can't try that, if it's something that you feel you, you should try or you want to, then I, I think you, you know, it sounds harsh, but I think you gotta cut those people out as fast as you can. If you're genuine in what you do and what you're pursuing and you're passionate about it, then I think people instantly sort of gravitate toward that. I think everyone respects genuine passion and hard work. You know, what you think about me or what anybody else thinks of me, it shouldn't matter, it shouldn't affect, because at the end it's my life. I'm the one that has to be happy and satisfied with it. And that's, I guess, why I kind of gravitate toward the art world, being able to create things. It's to sort of, yeah, leave something behind, I guess, and just have a, yeah, something, a lasting representation of who I was, I guess. I swear I've skateboarded like my whole life and I'm still like, yeah, not that good at all.